Border Terrier is a small dog that has an alert look, a powerful desire to hunt and dig, a lot of energy, and a nice personality. In other words, they are smart, loyal, fearless, lovable, and determined. For the right people, Border Terriers can be great dogs who play hard and love even more. They're best for families that are active and can give them a lot of exercise and keep them from practicing their escape artist skills. And these facts will help you understand them better. Let's start with the number 10. Origin. The Border Terrier originated in 18th century England, near the Scottish border. In order to go into small holes and flush foxes out of their hiding spots, borders were bred with long legs and a thin body. They possessed plenty of energy, a weather-resistant coat, and thick, loose skin that didn't readily pierce their foe's teeth. The Border Terrier was a beloved breed in England's borderlands, but poorly recognized elsewhere. They were spotted at agricultural fairs in Northumberland in the late 19th century, but dog lovers didn't recognize them until the early 20th century. England's Kennel Club approved their breed club in 1920. Netherbeer's Ricky was the first Border Terrier registered in the U.S. in 1930. The Border Terriers have spent much of their life unrecognized, and their folks want them to stay that way, to avoid the ravages of fame. They now ranked 81st out of 155 breeds and variations recognized with the AKC. Number 9. Size and Weight. This small dog has a physique that is built for running about, hence it is sometimes called a running dog. Typically, the small breed of dogs weighs less than 20 to 22 pounds in weight. According to the Border Terrier breed standard, females of the species weigh around 11 to 14 pounds, while males of the breed weigh approximately 13 to 15 pounds. They are between 11 and 16 inches tall. The average height of a small dog when they are standing is between 5.9 and 43.3 inches. So, these dogs are just the right size for small dogs. Number 8. Common Health Problems. In general, the Border Terrier is a healthy breed, and a good breeder would check breeding stock for diseases such as hip dysplasia, progressive retinal atrophy, juvenile cataracts, seizures, heart issues, and allergies before allowing the dogs to breed. Some borders appear to be less tolerant of hot weather than others, so outside activity should be limited when the temperature rises beyond 85 degrees Fahrenheit. Some recommended health tests from the National Breed Club includes patella evaluation, hip evaluation, cardiac exam, ophthalmologist evaluation, Number 7. Care. Border Terriers are excellent family dogs and should be kept indoors with their owners. Keep in mind that these dogs are superb escape artists. They'll love a daily half-hour walk on leash, off-leash play in a gated area, or a game of fetch. Border Terriers need exercise to avoid obesity and boredom. Boredom leads to destructive behavior and excessive barking. It's hard to train Border Terriers. On one side, they're enthusiastic and smart. They rapidly learn home rules and fundamental canine etiquette including house training, leash walking, and polite greetings, although they may never give up the habit of jumping up. The true obstacles come with advanced training. Border Terriers were bred to be independent since they had to work apart from their handlers during fox hunts. Although they will listen to an order, they will determine when to obey it. Even yet, be gentle, their delicate and severe training methods will shatter their spirit. Look for a trainer who employs positive reinforcement tactics like praise, play, and food rewards to train your Border Terrier. Border Terriers are easily house-trained with a regular routine and lots of opportunity to go outdoors. Also, crate training keeps your Border Terrier from chewing items while you're away. But remember, the container is a tool, not a prison. A Border Terrier's finest place is with you. Number 6. Exercise. Borders are very active dogs, and they need a lot of exercise every single day to stay healthy. For a border, a quick half-hour walk or game session with his owner and a ball should be enough to keep him healthy and happy. People who own a border terrier must always walk them on a leash, and they must play only in a fenced-in yard or other safe place. Terriers like to dig, so any backyard fencing should be at least 18 inches underground. Border terriers like to do things like tracking, lure coursing, agility, earth dog, and flyball with their owners, as well as other types of dog games. Number 5. Border Terriers Love Outdoors. The Border Terrier may be a happy companion in either an urban or a rural setting, as long as they receive plenty of exercise. However, they like countryside walks and discovering the sights and fragrances of the great outdoors, so they must spend some time in the great outdoors every week. Number 4. Training. It's important for Border Terriers to be socialized early and to go to puppy classes. According to the breed's parent club, a border was bred to think on his own, which can be both his best and worst trait. When he is told to stay, he will do so for what he thinks is enough time, then go about his own business. As soon as he is told, he will act sorry, because he really likes to please. Punishing a border terrier hardly will break his enthusiasm. 
if you want a dog that always obeys you, don't get a Border Terrier. Remember that Borders can't stand to be chased, so they should only be off-leash in areas that are well-fenced. Number 3. Lifespan. For dogs who are mostly maintained as pets in families, the most serious hazards to their longevity and lifespan are usually injuries they get when training or playing. Despite the fact that Border Terriers are susceptible to a few diseases that affect all dogs of the breed, they are typically a healthy type of dog. As a result, they have a life expectancy of 12 to 15 years. Number 2. Celebrities who own Border Terriers. Andy Murray, David Williams, Dennis Quaid, Diane Keaton, Daniel Craig, James Harriet, and Kate Lawler are some of the celebrities who have had Border Terriers in their homes. The list of celebrities who adore Border Terriers is getting bigger and bigger by the day. It's because these small, smart, and energetic pups have some special characteristics that makes them popular. Number 1. Do Border Terriers make good pet? The Border Terrier is a pretty good dog to have around as a pet. They are very different from other dogs in the Terrier breed. Dogs can be very affectionate with their owners and even with people they don't know very well at all. These dogs are also good with kids, but don't keep them with two small kids because they might hurt them by accident. Some of these dogs are good with big animals, but not with small animals like mice. The ancestors of these dogs used to chase away predators so that they could protect the flocks of sheep and goats from danger. A high prey drive means that the chances are they will run away after a small animal. Thus, this dog will need to learn how to walk on a leash. But, it's also easy to train Border Terriers because they can be taught quickly. So if you want a dog that's going to be lazy, then this one won't work for you. In order for them to stay healthy, they should do a lot of exercise. People who have kids should get Border Terriers because they will have people to play with, so they will be happy. They also don't bark too much or drool too much, and their coats are dirt and weatherproof. So, your house will be clean, too. All in all, it is clear that they can be pretty good pets. So, these were the facts and information that every border parent should know. If you enjoyed watching the video, make sure to like the video and subscribe to my channel. This way you can receive more videos like this. See you in the next one.